Well, good day, folks. So, first off, I kind of screwed up and I recorded this video and the sound didn't take, so I have to narrate it. So, excuse me if things are a little out of sync and whatnot. But today we're going to do a little life hack that might help you out if someday down the road you find yourself in need of some liquid alcohol and all you have is this gel-based hand sanitizer. So we're going to show you a way today to separate the alcohol from the gel. And that way you'll have your liquid alcohol. So the first thing you're going to need is some kind of a little container. So we'll use a little glass jar mostly for demonstration purposes so you can see actually what's taking place but you won't need this if you're uh, just using you know for your own purposes so we'll start by pumping or pouring some alcohol or some of the sand gel based hand sanitizer into our container now the thing we're going to use to cause the separation is some basic table salt now i have himalayan pink salt here because I use that, I don't use regular white salt. But what you'll do is you're going to take some of that salt, and it doesn't have to be a lot, but the more you use, the faster I guess it'll work. But take that salt and pour it on top of the gel. And you'll want to try and evenly distribute it as best you can. So it's covering like a blanket over top of the gel. So we've done that. Now, you're going to let that sit, depending on how much alcohol you used, how much salt you use, it's going to depend on how long it takes. But I'm going to speed this up, so we'll jump at four times speed from here out. And that way, you don't have to sit through the whole process, and you can actually, at the higher speed, see it working better. So as you look, you can see the salt is migrating down to the bottom. And what it's doing is it's separating the alcohol from the gel and then the salt and the gel will settle out at the bottom. Now you'll notice as it goes it's turning a little cloudy and that's because of the salt. Now if you let it set for long enough that will probably settle out and clear but for our purposes this is going to work. Now one thing I have to stress do not do this for the purpose of drinking the alcohol you don't know what type of alcohol they used in this. It's not going to be pure alcohol. It could be grain-based alcohol or it could be wood-based alcohol. If you drink this stuff, there is a good chance you will do serious harm to yourself and you may go blind. That's not an old wise tale. That's why the moonshiners separated the layers of the alcohol off. Grain-based alcohol is what they wanted. They had to separate the layer that was wood-based alcohol. And that's the stuff that's used to make methyl hydrate. So do not drink this stuff. Okay. So we're almost done. We can see everything's kind of settling over to the bottom. And let's go back to normal speed right about now. As you can see, as I give this a shake, we now have the liquid portion or the alcohol separated from the gel. So now you can go ahead and use this for whatever, use it for, maybe you need it for an alcohol stove, maybe you need it for wound treatment, variety of uses for alcohol. We're going to try it out one of our alcohol stoves today. This is just a little one I made sometime back out of a, I don't know, it might be like a Red Bull can or something like that. Something smaller than your average uh, pop can. So we'll pour alcohol into our stove and pour a little bit around into the priming pan to help things heat up. And you can see there the salt and the gel kind of caked at the bottom. So we'll pour the rest of that in, set that aside. And we will dim the lights a bit. And so you can see the flame a little bit better. Alcohol flame is almost colorless. Now you will see some color with this one. You see that little bit of orange? That's telling me that this is not very pure alcohol that they used in this sanitizer. It's something probably more around the level of an isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, like something around 70%. If you're going to use an alcohol stove on a regular basis, you want to use something at uh, more of a 90%. 
and that would be your ethanols or your methanols. Ethanol is grain-based, methanol is wood-based. So if you're going to use the methanol, be careful not to get it on your skin because it can absorb through your skin. So you can see the little licks of color there, the orange. Again, that's because the alcohol is not very pure. And there's still going to be some remnants of the uh, whatever the gel is made of. And even maybe a little bit of the salt in there could be causing that. Okay, so as we watch things heat up here, we'll eventually see the uh, stove come to a bloom. It's always good to uh, kind of warm your pot up a little bit. You know, particularly if it's cooler out, your pot's going to be cold and that's going to suck some of the heat out of your stove. But there's your bloom. And there we go. Now you're boiling water with alcohol that used to be in a gel form. These things always flare up kind of hard at first, and then once they stabilize, then you get a nice, even little flame. And there it goes, stabilizing. So there you have it. So you once had a bottle of gel sanitizer and you were able to use a little bit of salt in a few minutes to separate the alcohol out so you could use that for uh, whatever you need to use it for in this case boiling some water well I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful it's a good little trick to have in your repertoire and remember likes comments and subscriptions are always greatly appreciated so we'll see you on the next one and you all take care